Hey guys, so uh, we just got back from the party and I figured might as well just go ahead and film these few videos while I still have the makeup on. So I'm going to film the toiletry video and I'm going to film um, Luna's story. Uh, hopefully I can get through that without looking like a raccoon on camera. So yeah, so let's get down to business here. Now you guys know what this is. This is the toiletry bag. Um, same bag, nothing has changed on the outside. On the inside, there's a whole lot more. So, now like I said, I took some stuff out, I added some stuff. So, yeah. So the first thing is, and a lot of the stuff that I added, they did not have. Like this. This is a uh, Body Fantasies uh, Cotton Candy Fragrance. It smells so good. It smells like Motrin. Like, remember the Motrin that you used to drink when you were a kid? And then sometimes you just act sick, just to even drink it. Hi. <laughs> this probably explains so much. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so that's what it smells like. Um, they do have a bigger one. They did not have it at the Walmart that I went to. Uh, but they do have it online. Um, I can't remember how much it was for. I think it was for around 4 to about $6, I think. But I bought two of them because they were 97 cents. So I bought two of them and I have one of them in here. Okay, next is the toothbrush. I just went ahead and decided to use this toothbrush. So, yeah. And I took pretty much everything out of the boxes and the packages, just so that way it fits better. This is another thing that they did not have. Lotion. I mean, come on now, everybody puts a lotion on when they get out of the shower. Kinda have to. So this is just a uh, Suave Skin Solutions. It doesn't say what scent it is. But it smelled kind of like, um, let me see, I don't know, like an aloe maybe, maybe like aloe, so yeah. And these are just travel sizes of what they had at the store in the travel section, so I didn't really have much say as for scents or anything like that, so, except for, you know, the body spray, they had a few of those. Um, let's see here. This was another thing that they, that they did not have. Being that it was a woman's bag, I don't understand that. But face wash. So this is the St. Ives uh, Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. This was the only one that they had that did not smell too chemically. I don't really like face washes that smell of chemicals. So, and not only that, but it's apricot scrub. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. it smells really good. And um, so yeah, so hopefully this helps more skin. And actually, you know what, these are good sizes to try, like, say if you wanted to try this but you weren't exactly sure, you can start out with this and then, oh, I like it, and go buy the real thing. So, yeah. Another thing that they didn't have, remember, I said I was going to throw um, a bar of ivory soap in here, but now I do not have to. Because I found some Olay body wash. And I'll be honest, body wash to me is a little bit better because a bar of soap the germs kind of stay on the soap. It's the only thing I'm a germaphobe about. Uh, <laughs> I even have a soap dish that I every so once in a while turn over and I rinse it off. Just so that way I know that the scum doesn't stay on it. Uh, but this uh, was cocoa butter. Or shea butter. Shea butter. Yeah. Ultra moisturizing shea butter. So yeah, this is Olay one, and Olay is a good brand, so yeah. And then, you know, the deodorant. Still the same. Uh, and actually, I learned a trick for this that I'll also probably use over there. When you're, you know, chub when you're plus size like me, we tend to not have what is referred to as thigh gap. And basically, our thighs rub together. So it's better to either, of course, get a lotion that is targeted for that, or you can use powder deodorant. So I might, after, you know, I might try it when we go, and then afterwards, if I like how it works, rather than buy, you know, special lotion that's going to cost me a fortune, just buy powder deodorant. Who knew? <laughs> okay, this was another thing that they did not have. They had toothpaste, they had, you know, floss picks, they had a toothbrush, but they didn't have mouthwash. So I just got the smaller version of what I have in my bathroom. This is the Crest, I think I had this in the Shimergency kit bag, 
This is the Crest Pro Health, uh, alcohol free. So yeah. Let's see, uh, the toothpaste. Nothing's changed there. Uh, Carmax. Now I have this in here because of what I did. You know what I did for my get ready with me video. And not only that, but when I get out of the shower, I like to put it on my lips so that way my lips can stay moisturized overnight as well. So there's that. And then the picks. So, yeah. And then I have the Tresemme hairspray. The shampoo. And the conditioner. So yeah, so all of that fits in here. That's pretty good. So yeah. So that is my toiletry bag for Vegas. As I keep saying in these videos, um, as time goes on, I'm going to be doing different videos here and there. Um, as I said in the get ready, damn it. As I said in conditioner is not wanting to stay. Up. As I said in the get ready with me video, um, this graduation party was just one of the, I think two or three or maybe even four events that we have before between now and Vegas so you know I just want to I don't want to start it yet and then have to dig into it because I need something so yeah I don't know if I'm putting any of this back right it looks it looks like it but I don't know um, so the next video that I'm going to film is Luna's story how she came to be with us and um, so we'll see if I can get through that without looking like a blubbering mess. Chances are it will. <laughs> um, so yeah, so thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.